Yeah, we, we had a great training week. Um, you know, got a couple of, uh, of home training sessions and got to go ski at a uh, variety of different venues. We went and skied the Chassel Classic Trail on Sunday, which is always a team favorite. Um, really beautiful uh, track that the community grooms, thanks to the help of Jim Turbo. And, uh, and um, you know, our biggest focus was just to put in a good, a good little volume block of training. Um, that's hopefully going to help us sustain fitness now through the race season. Because in the race season itself, it's uh, it's hard to really do a lot of training. You're really, you know, you're focused on making sure that you're fresh and, and healthy for every race weekend. And we really use the races themselves um, to to push our, our fitness through the season now. So this was our last, uh, last opportunity to really get a good training block in. And uh, it was nice to have a little breather after U.S. Cross Country Championships to take advantage of that. Yeah, it certainly does. And it really depends where it fits in the season. So, you know, we'll have an off week in uh, three weeks um, after the next two travel weekends. And, um, and that's really right before our championship season. And so for an off weekend like that, where it's really kind of right in the middle of our competition season, we'll probably use it more as a, as a recovery week rather than a, a training, a higher volume training week. So it depends where it fits in terms of, um, terms of the competition season and, and how we treat it, you know, and, and certainly uh, the training load that we place on the student athletes. In regards to our NCAA qualification standards, um, the central region we have six uh, allocations um, and that's both six on the uh, women's uh, side and six on the men's side. And, uh, and so, we have to, uh, to be able to try to get three of our student athletes into one of those six spots. Uh, you can only qualify a maximum of three from your school to represent an uh, individual school. Um, and the way that our region scores uh, NCAA qualifying races is you get, you get points uh, for every weekend based on your place and then your time back from the, the winner. Um, so you're both... Uh, you're both racing to, for place as well as, um, as seeking how close you can be to the fastest skier on the day. Uh, the cool thing that I think our region does that's a little different than the other regions in terms of NCAA um, selection criteria is our point system gets better throughout the season. So it rewards the skiers that, that perform better closer to the NCAA championships and, and being able to achieve one of those six uh, allocation spots. Um, and and that's, a, that's an exciting thing for us looking forward through the rest of our regular season as well, because since we will be hosting the, the 2019 NCAA Central Region Skiing Championships here at Michigan Tech, that's a big home team advantage with that being the last, uh, last race weekend for NCAA Championship qualification. Yeah, we certainly hope so, and uh, you know we're we've we've got a big travel crew this weekend, which is nice. Being you know only only racing down in Rhinelander, we're able to uh, to bring a few more guys and increase our hopefully our depth uh, in terms of our overall team performance as well. With that, um, you know, and I think uh, having the opportunity to to take a breather and make sure everybody's healthy and have a little easier travel logistics. Uh, I think this this weekend we're in. We're certainly looking like we're in a good spot to um, to have a good weekend of racing, and and I think all of our student athletes are ready to ready to get back on the race course for sure.